Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jess, and my hair is about put together right now as my life is. Ooh, ooh. You guys have been asking for this video since I posted the best friends breakup video, oddly. I don't know why, but I think that was kind of the video that like ignited my little bit of a following I have. This seems to be like your guys' favorite video that I've done. I get the most comments on it, it has the most likes, and a lot of you guys message me talking about, oh, you helped me, this happened, I was able to, you know, figure out this, and thank you guys, I love you guys. So I thought I'd do another video that touches kind of on how to cope with things, and so we're going to talk about anxiety. Now, I've said it in a couple of my past videos that there was a time where I had severe anxiety and that I still do have anxiety, but there was one point where I literally couldn't do anything because I was so anxious about leaving the apartment, about leaving my house, about talking to people. I was just so nervous for any of these things because all I could do in my brain was picture the worst possible outcome. Like, if I talk to this person, they're gonna end up hating me, so I'm just not gonna talk to them. If I talk to, if I go out and hang out with these people, I'm gonna end up like ruining the night because I'm gonna say something wrong. It's like things like that. I get really, really anxious. And I also do this thing where it's like every time I'm saying goodbye to somebody, I run through my head, oh my god, is this the last thing I'm going to say to them? Are they going to like get in a car accident on their way home? Are they going to fall down and like knock their head and forget everything? Like I'm constantly doing this. So we're going to talk about the two, two reasons as to why I have anxiety and then I'm gonna tell you guys how I cope with it and hopefully help you guys cope with it a little bit and we'll have like this little mutual exchange of awesomeness and you guys can even like comment below on ways that you deal with your anxiety and what has helped you guys and we can kind of like spread this around in our tiny little community and help each other out because I'm sure a lot of you guys do have some kind of anxiety whether it is severe or it's like a mild form, we all get anxious about something, so we might as well like make each other aware of what's going on and try and help each other out. Um, I have two reasons that I have anxiety. The first one being I had a lot of things happen and change all at one time. The second thing that leads up to my anxiety is I actually have a condition called hypothyroidism. This little gland in my neck does not work how it's supposed to work and it messes with my metabolism, it messes with like my brain chemistry and a lot of stuff that I really don't understand and probably should understand. But basically it makes me irritable, it can give me depression, it can give me anxiety and all those things. So that was another thing that led up to the severe anxiety that I had. But now that's enough about talking about what my anxiety is, how I got it, what has led up to it. Um, we're gonna talk about how I cope with anxiety. One thing I do is if I know I'm gonna be going out into a social situation that's gonna be stressful on me anxiety-wise, I always make sure I take somebody with me that I'm comfortable with. So I never go to a concert alone because I know there's gonna be a lot of people there and I'm gonna get scared and I'm gonna freak out. I take a friend with me that I know I'm gonna be able to kind of like latch onto for comfort and if something does happen, they're gonna be there and they're gonna understand what's going on. Um, another thing I do, and this is probably my best way that I control anxiety, because I do tend to like go, <sighs> I start to hyperventilate, it gets hard to breathe, I start freaking out. I do breathing exercises. I'll literally breathe in, count to eight, breathe out, count to eight, breathe in, count to eight, breathe out, count to eight. That's what I do, it works for me. It's something that I've always done. Um, another thing that I have that is also really, really helpful is my cat. And I do joke that I am a crazy cat lady, but having a pet, and I refer to him as my emotional support animal. He's technically not like a certified emotional support animal, but he is for me, where I have something happen, I'm upset about something, I'm anxious about something, I'm even depressed about something. I go find my cat, I snuggle my cat, I feel better about life. Like, that's... The, like he's right there. Hi Hiccup! Hiccup! Hi Hiccup! That's the science of having a cat. Another thing I do is that if there is a situation that I don't want to put myself in, where thinking about the situation fills me with so much dread and it's not something that I have to do. Like a job interview, I have to go do the job interview. Like I don't have a choice. I can freak out, freak out, freak out, but at the end of the day I have to go to the job interview. But if it's like going out with a group of friends and you only know one person out of like the 10 people going and that makes you nervous, 
You can always tell them no, and if they don't understand your reason for changing your mind, then oh well. Another thing that you should do is make sure that the friends that you hang out with a lot know that you have anxiety, that you get nervous about things really easily. Um, I've made my friends aware of it and I've told them this stuff and they actually do a really good job of making me comfortable in situations. Um, I went out to visit one of my friends last summer and I was staying with him and he made sure he told his entire family. Making sure your friends know that you have anxiety is a really, really, really good thing to do because that just means that they'll be able to help you and they'll understand when something freaks you out and they can kind of like be prepared for when something does happen. But we all like, you know, we all have different things that work for us. This is just a couple suggestions that I can give you guys on and kind of like share with you guys how I cope with it. Um, I've actually been told that, you know, I've been like told, wow, you got over that really fast. I'm really impressed. I know like the whole uh, thing that happened at the concert. My friend literally when we left, he told me he's like, Wow, I was like shocked at how quickly you got yourself under control after you started freaking out. And it's just like, it comes with practice. You just gotta, you know, figure out what works for you and then just go with it. And that's what you guys need to do. So I hope any of these little tips helped you guys um, and helped you understand how to deal with your anxiety. If you guys want to talk to me about it or about anything like this at all, you can always leave me an ask on my Tumblr, you can tweet me, you can comment below, and I normally, like, 90% of the time I comment back to you guys, like, that's just how I am. Anxiety is not fun, and I don't want anybody to think that it's fun, because it's not. It's literally a life-altering, I don't want to call it, like, an illness, but it is an illness. It's a life-altering illness to have. It makes day-to-day -day tasks so much more difficult than it is for other people, and I don't think people fully understand that. That we're not making it up, we're not doing it for attention. I have had people say, you blame everything on your anxiety, it's getting really old. Well, the thing is that these things that they wanted me to do and these things that they were talking to me about, my biggest issue with doing it was my anxiety. I, it was out of my comfort zone, it made me nervous, the thought of it freaked me out, and it's like, you need to understand that. My roommate is awesome. She understands that I get anxiety and she just kind of deals with it. If we're out and about and I start getting grumpy, she doesn't have a problem with it. She knows what's going on. So make sure you surround yourself with people who are like that, not people who are going to be like, Psh, you blame everything on that. Are you sure you're not making it? Like, don't, don't have those people in your life. Make sure that the people you do have in your life are the ones who understand and are going to be there to help you guys. You don't have to go out and have social interactions and go bowling and go to the movies and go to concerts and go to clubs. You don't have to do that. You can have just as much fun in your apartment hanging out with those friends that understand what you're going through and are willing to cope with it with you. That's what you need to have in your life. Even though a majority of my social interactions have consisted of Pokemon Go the past like week. Literally, the last social interaction I had with a human being was us walking past each other and him going, gotta catch them all, and I'm going, exactly. That's literally what my last social interaction was. So yeah. If you guys liked this video, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I am making videos every single week, except for last week because I was on vacation which I will do kind of like a haul type video to show you guys what I got while I was on vacation, talk about my vacation. We're just not doing that this week. It will eventually come up. We also have a video that I am filming next week for my 100 subscriber challenge. I think I talked about that in a past video, or at least I posted it on social media, that me and two of my other friends are going to be doing the Bean Boozle Challenge for hitting 100 subscribers. There will be confetti, there will be awesome, there will be fun, and you guys should totally stick around and watch it. I have had so much fun making this video, not really, honestly, posting this terrifies me because I don't know what my feedback's gonna be on this one. Oh god, it's the anxiety, isn't it? <laughs> Bye guys!